there has been a definite improvement in Victor Lindelof. The centre back is reading the game better and is playing out from the back with more confidence. He looks more assured in possession, but how he deals with Manchester City's relentless attack will be the ultimate test. They will pressurise him and try to force him into a mistake by trapping him on his left foot. Lindelof will have to be alert to the threat of City's wide men. Raheem Sterling, Riyad Mahrez and Leroy Sane are all in fine form, and whichever two start can pose Lindelof problems. Against Juventus, Paulo Dybala was given too much space when he attacked down the right. While Lindelof was careful not to overcommit, he did not squeeze up to Dybala when he beat Luke Shaw and cut inside. It meant the forward had space to shoot. Maras is dangerous when he comes off the right wing. Lindelof will have to be on top of his game. United will be riding high after their win over Juventus, but Euphoria alone will not be enough against City. After their battling comeback wins at Bournemouth and Juve, they will have to summon the energy to stop a free-flowing City side who have scored 12 goals in their last two games. I feel this will be one match too far. Paul Popper's display against Juventus was his worst of the season. He struggled on an emotional return to Turin, losing the ball 18 times, more than anyone. He must have wondered when his number was going to come up, but, crucially, the Jose Mourinho stuck by him. Instead of hauling him off, Mourinho let him share in what must have been United's most satisfying display in Europe since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. Keep supporting him like this and their relationship is sure to improve. Should pop the shrug off his mind and niggle and play on Sunday, he will be determined to be United's match winner, as he was when scoring twice in the 3-2 triumph against City at the Etihad in April. These seismic derby games are when you see leaders emerge. I want to see John Stones prove he can be City's boss at the back. At centre half, you are well placed to inform your teammates, encourage them, and demand more from them. As Vincent Company's games become fewer, who is the prominent figure in City's defence? Stones can be the man to step up. He used to seem unsettled when Company was injured, and he had to play with different partners. Now he is thriving alongside Emeric Laporte. City have conceded just one goal in seven games. Stones has worked hard to eradicate his costly lapses of concentration. He was immense in England's World Cup semi final before switching off for a split second and allowing Mario Mandzukic to score Croatia's winner. His defending has improved. The next step is to show he can be City's leader for the future, 